Backtesting. Backtesting is the process of applying a trade strategy to historical data and to see how accurately the strategy or your model would have predicted actual results. The basic thing is, is average pi will retrieve historical data from IB or user provide, provided CSV files, which has a historical data. And then average pi simulate processing orders as IB server does. It support market order, limit order, and stop order right now. And the simulated transactions, it will be stored in another folder so that you can check the backtesting result and analyze your strategy. And the portfolio values is also recorded. I will show you how it looks like. The demo is to open a file called test mean demo one. Let's go there. Test me demo one. Let me open it up. It's a little bit longer than before, but then run me dot py. Let me explain what you need to do here. First, you need to comment in which strategy you want to run. This part is a demo close price reversion dot py. And the next part you need to change is account code. Change to your account code so that you can retrieve historical data from IB. Then you don't need to change data provider name or wrong mode. The default mode is in this testing is to run handle data every minute as Quantopian does right now. What you need to do is to define the historical data injection plan. What you need to do is tell average pi to retrieve, for example, SPY. You want a million data. You want to go back 10 days because you, in your strategy, you need to get the real time price at 359 so you need to get historical historical data one minute to supply that data to your code also you need daily data uh, in some case because they are different the bar size so you need to explicitly ask for it from IB. So for example, here, SPY daily data go back 30 days. The next part is you need to tell average pi the time frame of your backtesting. For example, you the end time is now. You can see it's a daytime dot now. And the starting point is go back, for example, eight days. And the frequency you want to test is one is one minute. That's all you need to configure the back tester. And the code is open it up all right i think if it's not open you can go to strategy folder and go to demo close price reversion right there here is the code i want to back test and then to run back tester you need to go back to test me demo one dot py and uh, run it. So at the beginning, you can see average pi retrieved historical data. Let's just let it run. 
our archive. It completed. So the first part is iBridgePy retrieve historical data from IB. You can see it retrieves daily data right there. Retrieve the minion data right there. And then data ingestion completed. And print out your account information and start to run it. Run your code, actually. You can see daily fun runs at November 6 at 15.59 as you requested in your code. And then run it, run it until November 11th. It starts to place order to buy SPY. You can see buy market order 324 shares. And the price bought is $308.28. And sell all of them one day after following your strategy. Okay, this is the demo of run historical data from IB. Actually, one thing I want to mention is if you go to the folder of output, you will see right there, this is the balance log. You can check it out account balance and the cash value uh, starting from uh, $100,000 and go up a little bit. If you go to the output and the transaction log, you can see the transaction there. Okay, yeah. A few improvements actually needed here. For example, if you want to debug your code, you need to fetch exactly the same data from every uh, from IB for every test, which may violate IB's pacing rule. Another thing is you request a lot of minion bar information, but actually only the minion bar information at the 1559 is used in your code. So you waste most of the minion data. Another thing is sometimes you don't need the real historical data. You just want to test your code to find any coding bugs. So you really don't need historical data. You just need some red, random data. Yeah, to improve the performance, what I want to demo is to supply historical data by user. So we can go to test me demo two. It's right there. Same thing, you need to tell which file you want to run. What you need to change is change the data provider name from IB to local file. Same thing here. However, what you need to specify is you want to read your data from the folder of input of average pi. It's right there. So the data is saved here actually in the format of CSV. And in the injection plan, other than this part, you need to tell, I want to supply SPY minion data by this CSV file so that average pi backtester can use it. So this is the minion data, this is daily data. And because of the data, historical data I provide, I need to change the start time and end time a little bit. Then let's clean the kernel, and run the file, and run it. 
So you can see it starts run from July 26 to October 6, and it, there is a transaction to buy and sell. So that in this way, you supply historical data from your local CSV file, and you can retrieve this information. From, actually, you can retrieve historical data from other data provider to go through the backtest. And the other quick demo is to, for example, in the code, and it goes through every minute to your code. But actually, what you really need is just uh, 1559. And then you can specify in your code that I just want to run them at some special second. Then what you need to do is to change the time generator time to custom and put the spot time into custom spot time list and then go through your back tester. Then the, your, your test will run much faster. Also, you can change the data provider name to random so that there's no real historical data needed. It's just a random data, but you can use it to quickly find out your coding box. The next part is performance analysis. Let's go to this example. I provided performance analysis chart.py. What I made is a fake performance.txt. Actually, you can change the uh, log info. Actually, you can change the file to your real log file and then run it. This is pretty straightforward to make a, a chart and calculate some variable, I calculate some performance. Let's run it quickly. It looks like this. It's just a random data, actually, fake data, but it print out the last five columns of your balance log calculate sharp ratio and make a drawing. You can analyze the performance of your back tester. And then after you analyze the performance, you feel comfortable, you can go to live. Then what you need to do is switch to runme.py and try your paper account first and run it against the real market to, to see the real performance using a paper account. And then what do you need to do to live trade in a live account is just simply to change the account code in runme.py and change it to your real paper account, uh, no, no, real account then you can live trade your strategy so that you can go live. Next part, I will show you how to use hybrid pipe to handle multiple accounts. For example, you can change, you can, for example, in this example, you can place 100 shares in account number one, and you can place 500 shares of SPY to another account actually, and you can handle as many accounts as you want in your code. 
right here. Yeah, this is the summary of today's webinar. Hybrid Pack can help you set up your own algo trading platform. You can back test and live trade together in Hybrid Pack. Hybrid Pack can trade with different brokers. In this webinar, we talk about to trade with average uh, interactive brokers. And Average Pack can help you manage multiple accounts. It's a very important feature for, for fund managers. Overall, Average Pack is a flexible and easy to use Python platform. That's the end of my presentation.